Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Today's card project features a cool die that has a coordinating stencil. I love dies and stencils that are coordinated to work together. So I hope you're inspired by this. It's small, it's kind of cute, butterfly themed. I chose to create sort of a funky offset with it, but I think there are so many things you can do. Plus, you know, busting out that metallic cardstock again. I love how the card turned out. So to see my die cut and stenciled butterfly, stick around. That project is coming up next. The first thing I'm going to do is tape my stencil into place with a little post-it tape. And I kind of just want to center it on this panel. I may be trimming this down a little, haven't decided yet. I'm going to put a piece up top and I'm going to put a piece on the bottom. And actually, while I'm at it, you know what? I am going to put some on the sides because I, I, don't, I don't know if this is going to be a full panel card yet or not. And so it's never a bad idea to just sort of isolate the edges so you don't get too aggressive with your ink blending. I'm also going to be ink blending on this mat today, the stencil mat from Waffle Flower. Ever since I started using it in this capacity, I actually got the idea to do this from one of the comments on a past video because I sometimes just grab a piece of scrap paper but if I use this mat, right, even I, I just can tap off on the mat. So that is taped into place for the blending. I'm going to use my smaller blender brushes today from Simon Says Stamp because I'm going in a smaller area. And all I want to do here, we'll start with our little worn lipstick, okay? And I'm going to come in here and just add a little color, just like that. And I am going to hold my stencil down as I go just so that you know I don't get under the details. Even though it's taped into place, I still want to make sure that I'm holding it down to preserve the delicate design. All right, setting that aside, let's go in and grab Spiced Marmalade. The other thing that's kind of cool about this mat is your ink pads don't, don't really, if they're on the mat properly, they don't really move a whole lot. And I kind of, kind of like that. All right, so let's bring in Spiced Marmalade. We'll overlap a little. Okay, come over here. And blend on more color for the butterfly. And I might come back in and do some more bump ups. In fact, I'm gonna open this up right now and just add a little more of that worn lipstick and get that overlap transition. They blend so beautifully and that, that's what we're doing. All right, close you and move on to Mustard Seed. Oh wait, oh, that's why it looked so funny. Oh my gosh, this is Mustard Seed. Okay, all right, alert, alert the media. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Let's get some orange in here. There we go. I thought it looked a little yellow, but I, that's why I went back over. <sighs> There's never a dull moment. Okay, mustard seed. Have you ever done that? Have you ever put the wrong guys on top? Well, you just saw it happen. So let's, let's try to get back on track here. It's, uh, it's going to happen. There we go. Maybe if I had it tapped off. All right, now we'll bring in yellow. Actually, you know what? Considering I almost screwed the pooch on that. Looks pretty darn good. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Love it. Okay. Now let's move on to the mother of all greens, Twisted Citron. I'm not going to screw this one up, okay? How many of you are familiar with that phrase, screw the pooch? Someone, a number of you have said it's kind of hilarious, but it is really, I learned it in high school when I read The Right Stuff by Tom Wolfe. And I was a huge fan of new journalism and I was a huge fan of Tom Wolfe. And when I read that book, I, I became obsessed not only with the story of the space program, the Mercury space program, but also some of the phrases that Wolfe used in that book. I actually ordered that book for my son for Christmas because apparently he had never read it. I'm not too worried about spoiler alerts here because I'm 99.9% .9 sure that my 
22 year old son does not watch my YouTube channel. Okay. So if you do, honey, that's what you're getting for Christmas. Okay. Salvage patina is my blue. And of course we don't have this in a small cube yet because well, it's not out yet from Mr. Holtz, but it's going to be part of the next foursome. I think there's only one more color that has to come out and then we get the full four mini cubes, but I love having a full size pad. Well, you know, I'm not complaining about that. All right. See, I just, I just ran out of room for purple. So purple lovers, you know, I don't dislike purple. I actually have a, I'll, I'll link a video up in the corner just to prove, just to prove that purple is my friend. I just don't have room for it today. All right. So this is looking pretty good. I may need to come in with a bit more of the yellow, but I almost, well, it was almost a disaster. And let's just go over that green area. All right. Basic rainbow, it always makes me happy. I've sort of been off the rainbow kick and so it feels good to get back on and I don't think I got any of the edges. I wasn't even paying attention, but that's why it's nice to have the post-it tape or some kind of masking in place so that you don't mess it up. I'm gonna save that in case I need it again. Peel that up. I'm gonna peel that friend up. And we're going to peel and reveal. Well, let's get you up to, well, let's just lift it. <laughs> why, why, why delay it? Here we go. Peel and reveal. Ah, isn't that pretty? It's a gorgeous little butterfly. We're gonna let that sit for a second. I'll go clean this off and then we will continue. Now let's do something fun with the gold cardstock. I am going to take this die. I'm not even gonna snip it apart because I, I don't need to and it just keeps them together. It's not doing me any favors or any disservice. I don't know what the opposite of favors is, but this will be fine. Pop on the plate and we are just going to cut out beautiful gold wings and a body. I don't even know if I'm gonna use the body yet. I haven't decided. Okay, let's go back and forth a few times. And I think this is going to look wonderful. All right, take that. Gonna pop that back in the pocket. Let's see what happens. Oh yes, oh, that's a beautiful die cut. I'm gonna set that aside, put it back in my pocket. And then all I'm gonna do here is just, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke out all these fills. I don't want them, I know, gasp. Gasp, gasp, gasp. But here's the thing. All I want from this is the beautiful gold outline. Okay, I want them both. And so I'm gonna finish poking this all out. Come on, pokers. Sometimes they'll just fall out, and if they don't, you know, if they don't, you just oh, let's not use lose the body though, because that can instantly look like something. Uh, yeah, they are kind of just falling out here, but. Get them all out and I will do the same for the other, right? And then I'm gonna cut one more set out of white so I can have a little bit of dimension. And then we're gonna glue them together. Next, I'm going to use one of my A2 layers dies just to trim the panel down, cause you know, you know me, I like to trim a panel down to pop it up onto a card base. Put that back. Nice, all right. Now I have this beautiful panel just like that. Next I'll take my beautiful golden wings, pop them down into this little box that I keep off camera. And I'm gonna spray a little bit of spray adhesive onto the back so that I can glue them onto the other set of wings for a little dimension. I'm gonna do this off to the side because I don't like the fumes to come up into my camera. And I'll just get one of these lined up here for a little dimension. See if I can line that up. How does that look? Is that lining up here? That looks good. I'm gonna grab a brick here and get the other one. You could add as many layers as you want for some dimension. I just wanted ever so slightly, right? I don't want this to be super ostentatious, so we will do this. And then I will also glue the little body with the one in white that I have seem seemingly misplaced. 
So I'll do that and be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and make my card base. This will be a USA2 top folding. So that means it will be four and a quarter inches wide by five and a half inches tall. Give that a nice press down, okay? So here's what I'm thinking. First things first, I'm gonna take the backers off the panel with the beautiful color. Now here's the thing that I think is kind of cool is that this would be beautiful on its own. Like it doesn't need anything else. I think this is gorgeous as is. So let's pop that right down like that onto the card base. You know what I mean? You don't need anything else. Like you could leave it um, or you could just have, look at that. You could just have the gold body in there. Oh, that's kind of neat too. Let me glue this down real quick. I'm gonna just pop this one. I'm gonna use a little of the Barely Art glue just because it has such a tiny little uh, tip for bringing it out. And I'm just gonna place his little body kind of right in there. Yeah, that'll look good. All right, I think that's about where it should go. So this on its own actually is really cool, right? But my thinking is I'm going to add the gold, but I thought, and you tell me in the comments, actually, now that I'm looking at this, I don't even know if I want the gold wings, but I thought it would be kind of cool if I offset them just a little, but I don't know what the appropriate, like, is it an offset from here? Like really make it You know what, that's kind of cool. To do a very purposeful offset where you see the color underneath and it's almost like a shadow, I think I'm gonna go for it because I just think it's funky and different. I'm gonna go ahead and add some spray adhesive to the back because I think to do this uh, with my Barely Art would drive me crazy, it would take so long. So let's add some adhesive and we'll get one side on and see what we think. And we're just gonna offset it ever so slightly like that just just enough right i think this is the way to go see that right there at the top a little bit of an offset and try to preserve that in the center too and now brick it up oh loving I am loving this. Check it out. So see that little bit of offset? I just think it adds, and of course you've got all that shine. I just kind of think it adds to the artsiness of it. And that, you know, that's just a choice, but we're gonna press that down. I'm gonna grab a simple sentiment strip for the greeting. So check it out. I have my, this is the reverse Miss You set, and I've used this a ton, and I literally just saw this, which was already cut to size and trimmed, and guess what? That is perfect, because I think, well, let's get it out. That popped right in the center. What? That is so cute. Or, or do we like how the heck are, no, you know what? Well, I think that's what we're gonna go with. So, I'm gonna put these all back in, or, Let's Skype soon. Remember when people Skyped instead of Zoomed? I, who knew? What I'm going to do now is just take a little Derice strip, let's get that off, and pop that on the back. So let's measure that a bit. That's what I love about these strips. Let's go right about there. Okay, bend, bend that and take it up. Oh, come on now, like that. And I'm gonna put this on the back like this. And then while I have this here, I'm going to grab my Copic T10 marker, because this is the marker that I use. The uh, sentiment strips are printed on white cardstock, and if you like it to look like it's a black edged piece, you can just take a marker, any black marker will do, and run it along the edge, and then it gives that sort of black edged look, okay? We can't print these on black cardstock because there is no such thing as a white print ink. That is why these are called reverse because it's the absence of color. 
These are also foilable. Let's see, would it be cute at the bottom? Oh, it's, mm, see, but then I think I'm off balance. Do you know what I mean? I think the reason that I wanted to go right in the center, although what if we went a little, no, I just feel like going right across that panel is the way to go. What do you think? Or lower? No. What about a, no, no. I wish we lived closer or I wish we lived closer. Mm. You know, my gut is telling me to go across the middle and, and here's why. It's not, this would look great and so would this. Um, but part of why I do this is when I'm designing a card, I love it to all be one piece, right? That is called unity. That is called the theory of gestalt. Although if I put this down here, I could put some gold. Hmm. I could take some foil, right? And I could put two here, one here and a couple up here. I'm going to pause and think about this for a minute. What would you do? I think I have settled on an arrangement. I actually like three going this way and three going this way. And here's the thing. If I had this to do over again, and if I knew that this was going to be my plan, I might have pushed everything up a little bit, but I still think it's beautiful. And so I am going to go ahead and add my sequins down. I'm going to use the Barely Art glue because I have it here. We'll just pop a little there and Pick this up. Boop. Boop. Nice. Oh, I need to actually mount this and I will in a minute. I haven't, I haven't put this down yet and I will. So pop it in there. Come on, get a little more glue. Come on. There we go. Boop. Oh, I picked up more than I wanted. And I want to tell you something about this lovely little friend. I love this tool, but you do not want to hit the black tip on white cardstock. I have done this a few times and I'm going to show you what it does. Sometimes it leaves a mark. Do I have some? I do. Here's a little piece of cardstock. Check this out. If you do this, it's going to leave a mark. And I have done that a few times. So just a little warning that that is, it's almost like a crayon. It could just be mine, but I know how it is to finish a project and you're almost done and you get something on like that and you're like, what did I just do? Well, I'm saving you. I'm saving you some pain and heartache. Okay, let's do a little strip here just so that I have a little wiggle room and I'm going to... Place that right in the center so that it also is just tucked over that sequin like that. Oh my goodness gracious, that's the finished card project. So I don't know if you like that offset. I personally do. I think it's really kind of fun. Of course, it would have looked great the other way too but I'm very excited about this product, this stencil and the die. But again, the stencil on its own, I think would be fantastic. You can find links to all of the products that I used in today's video below in the YouTube description box. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you back here with another card project soon. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.